Oceana's 2011 is here on the Gold Coast. The nature of uh, Oceana's is an outdoor road event, so you can pretty much be faced with whatever, and I think that's a, a cool thing about our sport is no two contests are really the same. They're always slightly different. The track is going to be really tactical because there's all different lines that you can take. Speed, endurance, strategy, all that sort of stuff comes into play when you're racing. Getting on the start line, everything sort of starts to slow down a little bit and um, you're just waiting for that whistle or that gun to go off and it's a real, you feel like a curled spring ready to be unleashed. You're going really fast when you're going at top speed, you know, you can be pushing close to 55 kilometers an hour or so, or a bit more if you're going downhill, you know. It's, it's quite fast, you know, it's a different experience from anything else you can do. Anyone can win. Everyone's got equal opportunity and no one really works for each other. You get there and you finally, after all the years of practicing and training and all that sort of hard work, you finally got there, you finally get to wear it, you know, do your bit for, you know, for the country, it's cool. To represent your country in any way, shape or form is just, it's an amazing feeling to know that you've put in some hard work and you've um, done really well at something and get selected to, to represent your country is always an amazing experience. In Atisik, there's two types of skates. There's quads, which is the traditional pair of roller skates with four wheels, and then I skate on an artistic version of inline skates, which is with three wheels in a row. You have two marks. So one is your presentation and how you put yourself on the floor. The second one is how well you deliver it. You want a package deal, so you want to be as hard as you can, but as easy and as comfortable as you can at the same time. The standard of the sports uh, certainly improved. Um, a lot more stronger skaters than when I first started. It's a sport that requires a lot of physical strength and stamina, as well as mental strength and stamina. So it's certainly not a weak sport. <laughs> This is my first Oceanas and I was feeling a bit nervous but the scores were really good. <laughs> so yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> You just get that buzz inside you, you know, you just the adrenaline, you know, and that's just something, it's just that rush that you just can't get from other than playing hockey, you know, just, you know, when you make a big save and, you know, the crowd cheers, just that rush of adrenaline, just knowing, yeah, that was me, you know. You're representing your country, you can't get any higher, it's just everything. It's done it a couple of times, but it still means everything every time you come. Everyone gets pumped up to music, coach comes in, gives you a massive speech, get you pumped up. Get on the ring, you know, everybody's gonna work as a team. It's not it's not one person that can beat a whole team of New Zealand kids, it's all about teamwork, how you set everything up, structure. You know, we've got some great talent coming through in our young divisions here at the Oceana Championships, you know, watching them train and in their practice matches, it's amazing to see. Back when I was that age, I could never imagine our players being that fast and that skillful and, and our goalies as well, you know, just the professionalism of the players and their maturity as well. An amazing feeling just coming here. And like one of the best things to do is winning gold medal for your country. It's just a feeling that you can't really get anywhere else. <laughs>